tell that there was a very ominous smoke coming across the sky. Uh, and there was a street light that helped really amplify the smoke and allow me to see the smoke. And immediately I knew something was wrong. Followed the smoke all the way back over to this building that was right near the railroad tracks. And as I was getting up to the building, I noticed that the bottom left window uh, was a very dark, dark red glow as if there was a fire. Uh, so I immediately stopped uh, and immediately called 911 because I knew there had to have been a fire. Uh, I don't know what else would have been causing something like that. I walked up to the building and that's when that window shattered. The fire rolled out and that's when I began to try to alert the residents inside because I could see the fire alarms going off. I could see the white light flashing on the left side, but none on the right side of the building. So I knew that the residents that may have been in there yeah. didn't know that there was a fire going on. I started banging on doors, just more of double fisting, hitting the door as hard as I could, uh, yelling, and then I decided to use the horn on my truck just because it's much louder than pounding on a door or window. Two gentlemen in the apartment adjacent to it and uh, were sound asleep during the entire incident, so I was able to help wake them up in a sense from the noise I created, and that's when they realized there was a fire. If I was at home and sleeping, what would someone do to try to alert me or help me get out of the building? Uh, and so it just kind of was natural instinct to stop and help and do what I could.